I want to now bring in Manish Purohit, the former ISRO scientist who is constantly telling us about this, this sort of mingling that we have of scientific temperament and spirituality and also a reminder that religion can continue here on how Hindu faith has evolved also over the years with science by its side. Manish, I think it's a, it has turned out better than I thought because look at that sharp image because I thought it may be very short in nature, we may not be having a clear visual but this is as crisp as it can get. Yeah, actually uh, physics can explain it in a very simple terms that when a ray of light passes through a medium and there are so many particulate matters here that is the smoke from the lit up diyas that made that thing more mystical. It's, it looks like that the laser sharp beam is coming from the forehead of Ram Lala and it is going towards the sun. It just looks the other way around instead of mm. from the sun rays coming to the forehead. Now when we look at this beam, that mm. perfect texture of the beam is because that whole area where this whole thing is in the Gulf Graha, there they are doing the puja. Because of that, the smoke has filled up that area and that makes that path of the light visible. We call it Tyndall effect. It's taught in our NCRT textbooks of the science in class 8th and 9th that this is the effect that, that makes the path of the light visible and we can see that that has added up to the, the whole, you know, that feeling, that thing, it has added up everything and it has given us such a mystical feeling that right now the ray of light is not coming from the sun to the Ramlala, rather it is going from the Ramlala towards the sun, like a laser that being pointed upwards. Because I didn't look at that, it, and now, now that you say it, if you actually look at the Ram Lala, it actually does look like if it's getting reflected, emanating from the Ram Lala onto the world, and that's what perhaps faith does, that's what science, when it meets spirituality, it is that interaction that you feel, and I'm sure many devotees are feeling what you have described as well. Munish, do also tell us, what is the reason, and it must be a very strong beam of the sun rays how would you then ensure that it does not impact the deity that it, it when it hits when it graces the forehead that it is very light in nature do you think that also must have been planned out in the in the apparatus surely. and the system that was designed surely surely it has to be taken care of because as we i have told earlier that when we are focusing using a lens then we are creating an image so when we are creating the image of sun this means we are intensifying a particular spot with a lot of energy so here, that has to be taken care of. The system of lenses that have been used, they have been designed so that they will bring down the intensity. It shouldn't be as intense as it is because higher the intensity, it can damage the structure, the surface where it is being pointed, where it is getting focused. Because at that spot, we are seeing exactly the image of the sun because lenses create the image of the source. Here, the source of the light is sun. Means we are creating an image, a sharp image of the sun on the forehead of Ram Lala. But we can't allow that much of energy hitting that small area because that can damage the surface. So that has, been, that has to be taken care of in the design. Also tell us, Manish, as we continue to look at these visuals and of course we are ensuring it's full frame for the devotees who are still tuning in. It happened slightly before 12, uh, 15, we are, and we understand that's a possibility as well. But look at how crisp, as we were told about between 50 to 70 millimeter of the circular image that will come. It's a sharp crisp, but also, Manish, for, for many who may not know, that the last mirror or the last lens is, is even if on the ground floor in the sand, from Sanctorum is, is quite a few, it's a distance away and still to ensure that when it hits, it has to hit at that exact spot and that is where the science also comes in. Do tell us that when, when we talk of scriptures, why is this such a Surya Abhishek that is of such significance rather than, you know, when we do put a Tilak on the deities, that Surya Abhishek has its own share of significance as well in, in cultural and religious terms? Uh, yeah, actually astronomy and rather the term astrology if is used, it is having roots deep down, down back to the thousand years. We yes. have been following the celestial uh, apparatus, the celestial arrangement of different planets, stars, our sun. Our sun is a star and different stars. If you go to Egypt and look at the pyramids, they are aligned in such a way that there is a constellation called Orion. So the pyramids there are made in such a way that they point towards the three stars of the Orion. If we go to Ireland, there is a, a setup there where on the winter solstice, the sun exactly signs on the doors. So it's like that this has been followed from the ages. They have been following the sun. Why? Because we know this, that sun is the source of energy, the life on earth. We are totally and completely dependent on sun for our life to thrive. So it's just like, you know, uh, we are paying our bid 
the the thing that that mm. the feeling that we have we are just paying that back that yes right now we know that the source is there and we design our architectures we go back down to thousand years back we go to our uh, sun temple there uh, all the three times the sun rays they uh, go and anoint the deity there are sun dials there in our jantar mantra we use the solar rays Correct. for finding the time exactly so we have been doing this so it is of very prime importance just because the reason is that sun Prize the life on planet without sun and with that perfect alignment that we have in our orbit, the inclination, it wouldn't have been possible. Manisha made a very important point because astronomy for many other countries could have actually emerged in still the modern era. But uh, specifically when it comes to the Hindu faith or astrologers, astronomers, this goes way back centuries as well. And their interpretation, remember at a time when you didn't have the kind of equipments you have today. And yet the understanding of those principles and theory, it's absolutely fascinating.